Rick Dermarinus, a tennis enthusiast and novelist, once said that reading a thousand books on a thousand tennis books on how to serve won't help your serve, but hitting a thousand serves will. Uh, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to hit a proper serve. All right, and you should listen to me because if you're a high school or a college student that wants that has tennis friends or anything like that, I got you will want to impress your tennis friends or just have fun with them. All right. First, I'll be teaching you how to have the proper grip, how to have a proper form, and then where to be positioned in this speech. And then second, I'll be teaching you some rituals that will help you calm your mind, calm yourself, so you can focus on just your serve and just your point. And also, I'll be teaching you on the toss, where, it's eight, where you'll be able to toss where you want to, and so you can hit where you want to. And after that, lastly, I'll be teaching you the whole follow through of the serve and how to finish it off. All right, let's get started. So first, I'll be teaching you just the proper grip. All right, most players used to play with a Eastern grip, which is called the shaking hands grip, or Western grip, which is like a frying pan grip. But now, with modern tennis, they like to play what we call the continental grip where you take the v, the v of your hand and you slide it down the frame all the way to the bottom of the handle and have your knuckles align with the bevel right here. Okay. And then with your form, you have two forms. Two of the most basic forms that you see in the pro tour, amateur tour, college, high school, or anywhere. Where it's called, first, the state uh, platform form. Where both feet are separated for the whole follow through, okay? And the other one is the stepping form where both feet are separated. But when coming in with a toss, the feet will come in together and you can explode on that follow through. For me, because I'm a big server in my game, I like to play with a platform form where I have both feet separated, okay? Now where you want to be positioned, if you want to aim to your left, you always have to serve on your right side. And then vice versa, if you want to aim to your right, you always have to serve on your left side. Okay. Now that I teach you that, now it's time to teach you some rituals. Now the rituals where you just calm yourself down, where you want to think slow and steady at first, and then once you toss that ball, you want to think fast and explosive. Right. Now for me, I always like, since I'm a fast player and I like to uh, get the point started right away, I just take a few bounces, maybe maybe two or three, two for my first serve, and then a tap on my back foot, like this, and then three for my second serve. Three. And then after that, you come with the toss. Now with the toss, your toss helps you utilize three different serves. A flat serve, a kick serve, and a slice serve. So with your flat serve, you always want the ball up in front of you. Uh, and now think of with your toss as a clock. So you have your 12, your one, and then your 11. For the flat serve, you always want to toss at the 12. 12. For the Kick serve, you can either toss at the 12 still, or you can toss at the 11, depending on how much spin and how much flick do you want to get on that shot. And for the slice, you want to toss out on the one. So when you toss out to the one, you can just slice like this, and then it'll spin right in. Now lastly, it's the big follow through. For the big follow through, coming in right here, you want to have your arm rotate as if you're throwing a football. So while you're right here, you want to go and stuff. Right? It's always like a football like this. And then, sorry. And then um, while you're following through, you always want your arm fully extended at the contact point. 
And your contact point will always be right here, where your arm's fully extended and where the ball reaches its highest point. Now that I showed you all the steps, or all the, all, all the tools you need to hit a serve, that I hope you can use this as a way to just play with your friends or just impress like other tennis players that, oh, I may be a beginner, but I can hit a serve. Thank you.